Hi guys, my name is Nachi and welcome to a new video. Yay, it's been a while again, like always. Today we are gonna draw together. I didn't have much time in October, but I wanted to at least get one Inktober artwork done. So this is what we are gonna do today. Basically me trying to participate on the last day. So what I'm gonna do is basically just walk you through my whole process of drawing this artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already. Okay, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm doing is this time I wanted to prepare properly. So I actually used my sketchbook as you have seen in my last video. I got a sketchbook now. I'm trying my best to actually using it on artworks like this, where I have a little bit more paper space I need to fill out. I often feel like when you have a bigger piece of paper, it's harder to visualize uh, how many details you want and how to make the proportions work properly. So I like to sketch them out as thumbnails and I decided to sketch out my thumbnails in my sketchbook this time. I decided to go for a very classic Halloween theme. I just wanted something that is a little bit spooky but also a little bit cute. It's very much in my comfort zone. I just wanted to make a feel good piece that uh, makes me feel happy. I decided on drawing a cute anime witch with a black and white theme because of Inktober and then we have one accent color which is gonna be orange because of Halloween as well. I think the whole theme worked very well together. I'm very happy with the outcome but you will see that in a second. So the first thing I do is I sketch out the whole artwork and see me doing that here. I make sure that I like the pose and in this case I actually tried very very hard to also figure out already which kind of areas I wanted to leave white and which areas I want to draw black later. So there is a nice composition in the artwork and it doesn't go too light or too dark. I was very scared that I would maybe otherwise overdo it with inking too many areas or not inking enough areas. After that, I tape a new piece of paper down. The piece of paper goes on top of my sketch. Then I take my tracing table. This one is from Huiyon. I'm gonna link it in the description if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm using. I like it a lot. I got it from Huiyon directly a couple of years ago. It's a A4 size. I'm working at the moment on an A3 artwork so you can see that the paper is actually a little bit bigger than the tracing table itself. But you can get those tracing tables in different sizes. Also picked up my liners and then I basically just start tracing the sketch onto the new piece of paper. This is mainly because when I sketch I work very harsh with my pencil. I try to do soft sketches sometimes but to be honest I'm way too impatient but I tend to press down the pencil way too much so I just got used to okay I'm gonna sketch as messy as I want and then afterwards we just trace it. So that's basically what I'm doing. I traced with very, very fine lines because I wanted to use my tracing table as least as possible. I really like it and it's really, really thin. So it's not very uncomfortable using it, but because the paper 
is bigger than the tracing table itself you have those edges on these sides where theoretically your hand can rest on the edge and then you get like really ugly creases in the paper to prevent that i just try to go through the lines as quickly as possible just make them as thin as possible and then i did my line weight afterwards after i put the tracing table aside so you can see that actually some lines are getting thicker afterwards because i make them thicker after that, I also start uh, coloring. I fill out the first couple of orange areas and I also start filling out some of the background. The background is mainly gonna be black in the top and then it's gonna go into a gradient in the bottom. I thought about maybe doing the whole background black, but I thought that was maybe too much, especially because her stockings are gonna be black as well in her shoes. So I thought that would maybe be too much black on the artwork. So I made a gradient from black fading into white with cross hatching later. I decided on the pumpkin being orange, the hair being orange, and then every kind of ribbon being orange on this artwork. I actually thought maybe I overdid it a little bit with the orange, but people have told me it's okay, it's not too much. I'm not sure, let me know if you think it's too much orange on the artwork or if it's balanced out okay. I tend to sometimes feel like I overdo it. I always go into artworks with the best intent, but I want to do as good as possible. And then in the process of trying to make it as good as possible, I just, yeah, overdo it and just do too much to the artwork. So I wasn't sure if maybe the orange isn't a little bit too much. I personally think overall it's okay. I'm just a little bit concerned it might be, might be a little bit too much. The clothes that are black, I try to not make them solid blacks. I try to make them have a gradient as well and have light and shadow in them. The light and shadow I also create with a cross hatching where I try to make gradients from black to white instead of just making a solid black dress or a solid black hat. I try to at least give it a little bit uh, highlights and shadows. As I said in the beginning, I haven't really participated in Inktober myself this year. So I would like to know, has any one of you tried to do Inktober this year or any other kind of Tober? Because I know some people have been cancelling the Inktober. I personally think it's a little bit stupid to cancel a month that's about self-improvement. People think like uh, Jake Parker is um, getting too much revenue out of capitalizing off of Inktober and um, him basically inventing Inktober. But to be honest, well, this is very controversial, but to be honest, I don't really care. Like he's not gonna make my month bad if I want to do it in Toba. So I wouldn't really care if I wanted to do it in Toba. I would do it anyway. But because a lot of people have been canceling him, I have seen a lot of other Topas come forward. We had Witch, Witchy Toba or OC Toba, uh, Black Toba. I've seen quite a few. Has any one of you participated in any of those? And if yes, have you actually managed to do all 31 days. I am really interested to know if anyone has managed to do so. I'm basically just continuing doing these steps until I'm finished and then I add some details at the end and that's uh, my whole Inktober artwork. I hope you guys uh, liked it and I hope you guys had a nice 
Inktober and a nice Halloween. I hope you guys are ready for November and I hope that I can upload for you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter if you have time and maybe leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.